My name is Dr. William Van Hoff, and I'm a Chief Executive Officer of the National Institute for Health Research Clinical Research Network. Today, I'm delighted to be officially launching five national patient recruitment centres, which are a new addition to the NHR research infrastructure, the first family of NHR-funded research facilities to be 100% dedicated to commercial research. As many of you may know, the five centres all became operational this autumn, and we're already seeing some great successes, for example, in the delivery of COVID-19 vaccine trials, and also in the delivery of one of the UK's first fully virtual interventional commercial clinical trials. The patient recruitment centres are a significant component of the government's life sciences industrial strategy described in Sector Deal 2. This policy paper sets out a series of measures to strengthen the UK's clinical research environment and improve UK's competitiveness in the global market. The patient recruitment centres have been created with three key purposes. Firstly, to increase the UK's capacity to deliver late phase commercial clinical research. Secondly, to make it easier and quicker to deliver commercial clinical research in the NHS. And thirdly, to increase opportunities for patients to benefit from early access to innovation. Each centre will provide a dedicated space and facilities for commercial clinical research. Guaranteed access to NHS services to support research delivery, access to NHS clinicians to work as investigators, and a team of dedicated and highly skilled research delivery staff to conduct the trials. To help them develop, I'm delighted to say that NHR is providing £1.3 million to each centre over three years. One of the opportunities of establishing our patient recruitment centres within the NHR, perhaps a key selling point, is that they will work collaboratively through a unique franchise-like model. All five centres working in a harmonised manner to deliver a number of key benefits, including faster feasibility, costing and contracting, streamlined study setup, excellent communication, and consistent research delivery at all five locations. Besides improving speed and efficiency, we want the patient recruitment centers to drive innovation, for instance, by creating models of research delivery in the community that are accessible to people with common and chronic conditions. Their regional basis and partnerships with primary, secondary, community and social care organizations will enable access to a wider cohort of patients and extend each centre's recruitment reach beyond hospitals and specialist clinics. It's part of our focus in NHR to take research to the people wherever they are, making it easier to participate and reflecting real world life. So our patient recruitment centres should be seen as a key community asset, networking into local communities to raise awareness of research opportunities enabling patients to access cutting edge treatments and therapies that are not yet widely available on the NHS. Our patient recruitment centers will attract more commercial research to the UK. And this in turn will enable more patients to benefit from early access to new treatments and diagnostics. It'll drive innovation and contribute to improving health and also the wealth of our country. This, of course, is just a brief introduction to the patient recruitment centres, and I'd like to invite you to join our live webinar to learn more about each centre and the initiative as a whole. Thank you for watching.